If your aircraft was built prior to 1995, it's very likely that it contains a Mode C transponder that has what's called a cavity tube, similar to the vacuum tubes used in older radios and televisions. That cavity tube is the primary source of transponder failures. When that fails in an aircraft, it grounds it. I'm Jeff Johnson, one of the many pilots here at Apario. Several years ago, when Apario decided to develop an ADS-B out transponder, I had a flight that had a big influence on what we decided to design. I was on an IFR flight from Minnesota to Tennessee with my family on board. It was solid IMC and my transponder went out, so we got grounded. What we realized from that experience is that an ADS-B out solution that leaves in and depends on an old tube-based transponder was probably a bad idea. We decided to design a new solid state transponder to replace the old one. We included a WAS GPS so that a pilot had the simplicity of being able to buy 2020 compliance in an all-in-one box. Other benefits of a panel-mounted transponder are that you give your instrument panel a visible upgrade, something you don't get when you install a remote box. And a panel-mounted avionic is much easier to install when compared to a remote. That translates to a lower installation bill, sometimes as much as half. So if you're like me and you have an older aircraft, you should consider an ADS-B upgrade like the Stratus ESG from Apario. It gives you a brand new digital panel-mounted transponder. Not only will you be 2020 compliant, you'll have the peace of mind when flying with your family that your transponder won't fail you.